So you're not cross with me? No. I'm not cross. I'm livid. But I'm about to go and take it out on Elisha. Ooh, can I come? No, you've done beautifully today. Let me deal with her now. The big bag of wind needs putting in her place. Oh, for goodness sakes. Elisha, close your legs. I can't stand your hair cut. You sleazy little madam. A woman in her forties with a skirt above her knees. Nasty. So, how's your little criminal? You know what? As criminal? What's criminal is that people like you're allowed to roam free. You should be the one behind bars, you're like a caged animal. And for your information, Olive is at home, all cozy in bed. Watching repeats of Crush Peninsula. She didn't get prosecuted. Yeah, cozying in bed with Matt right now. If she wasn't prosecuted then he's about to be. You only need to take one look at her to tell she's a screaming slut bag. Just like her mother, and just like her auntie. Sleaze balls like you should all be locked up and have the key thrown away. Alright. We're doing this are we? Now that was personal. Personal and vicious. Hey Alicia, here's a question for you. When was the last time you had your period? Been washing your hair with it again? To remind yourself of the younger woman that you once was. Let's face it. You're menopausal, have been for a while. I don't know what Daniel sees in you. For your information, me and Daniel are happily married and in love. Unlike you and what's his face. He's only in it for one thing. But do you know what? I think I could do better. I think I might drop by one day, when you're out. Matt wouldn't take much persuasion. Do you know, I wouldn't expect anything less from the town bike. You're welcome to try it. But just remember that you'll be my sloppy seconds and he'll be jipping the whole way through having some post-menopausal leathery colostomy bag wheezing on top of him. Well he should be used to it by now with you. Sorry don't do menopause. I'm not the one on HRT. Your mother should have drowned you at birth. You vile cow. If it were up to me, people like you would be carted off to the funny farm. Oh shit. It's getting a bit personal in there isn't it? And I have the keys. Doesn't Elisha have a spare set? Nah. We are married. That means we share everything. Nice one mate. We are locked in. You have got to be kidding me. I guess they will keep us locked in here until we become friends again. Well shit I'm gonna need a big glass of wine. What is your problem with me Elisha? I have done nothing to you. You ended our friendship remember? I'm upset with you because we were good friends. And then when I was pregnant with Adam, and he was born, you stopped bothering. You didn't care my kids and I why is that? I think you know by now that I am certainly not the maternal type. I'm not good with children. I have no idea what to do with them. I don't understand them. I felt a barrier between us. It made me feel like we didn't have much in common anymore. And I'm sorry for not bothering. I missed having you as a friend. But I am now hurt and pissed off that you have been obnoxious over Olive. She's only 19 and you've called the police on her. Dragged her out on the street and been plain rude towards her. I don't see a way back to being friends Elisha. You know, I think you overlook yourself more than you know. What you've just said there about Olive. You clearly do have maternalness Rosie. You feel protective over her or you wouldn't be here. You feel hurt and angry on behalf of that girl. From what it seems you have been trying to keep Olive on track by giving her rules. Thank you. That's the nicest thing anyone has ever told me. I just don't want people seeing me as a cold heartless bitch. And I'm sorry for everything too. The argument just then shouldn't have happened and everything I've put Olive through. It wasn't right. Can we try and be friends again? I would like that. Mm -hmm.